Okay, so here I am and I'm logged into color or cooler, K U L E R dot Adobe dot com. And this is one of the themes that I have saved. If you look at the desktop application over here on the right, you can see that my saved themes sync up. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new theme. Let me just drag this slider over and quickly create a blue theme. Looks good. Now I'm just going to call this blue and I'm going to choose to save this. All right, so now you can see I have my blue theme and I have my pink orange and those are my saved themes. Now, if I go into Cooler, my desktop version, and I want to go ahead and get all my themes and get them up to date, I click on my color or my cooler and it automatically syncs these. So now if I have these elements, normally I could export them out as an Adobe Swatch Exchange and ASC, import them into InDesign. I don't have to do that anymore. Watch how simple this is. I'm going to go into InDesign and simply create a new document. Okay, and I'll have this up on my screen. And if we look at my swatches panel, there's just the basic ones that come in here. I'm going to go ahead and delete all these. Okay, so now we're started out with a basic set. We're good to go. So let's go back to my cooler or color on the desktop. And I am going to choose to, if I click this little drop down, it says save this theme. So I can save it as an Adobe Swatch Exchange. And that's this little icon right here or import theme to Photoshop, Illustrator, or InDesign. So if I select import theme into InDesign, look at that, it automatically imports those colors. And this is one of the coolest new features I really like about this. Let's go get the other palette and let's bring it into InDesign. And now I have all my color themes right in there. How simple is that? Very cool stuff.